if you keep reptiles, you need stuff. Lots of stuff. And if you're someone who loves someone who has reptiles and needs to buy them stuff for the reptiles because they need stuff for the reptiles, you're going to need to know what to buy them. So today we're going to talk all about essentials for a reptile room or just someone with a couple of reptiles and what you should buy them for Christmas or their birthday or just because reptile people are cool. I'm Adam. You're watching Wicked's Wicked Reptiles. Stick around. Sleigh bells ringing. Diamonds blinging. Carol singing. First, one of the most underrated things and something that I don't see a lot of other reptile channels talk about, smart plug. Now, there's a few options here. I just use the Tekken one. It's pretty cheap. It, it hooks up with uh, Google or Alexa or whatever one that you use. My whole reptile room uh, runs on these things. So every night it goes off and every morning it comes on automatically all at the same time. I never have to think about it. Or if for whatever reason it's after six o'clock, which is what time they go off right now, and I need to do a video and I need the lights to be on, I just say, hey Google, turn on the reptile room. Sure, turning on three outlets. And there Sorry, you- It looks like the Crested Gecko office isn't available right now. There you go, because this is the Crested Gecko office and my Crested Gecko light isn't on because I'm showing you this. And what a smart plug allows you to do is automate everything. So you never have to think about it. And you can also use uh, an if then then that type of uh, app where you can choose to when the sun goes up, your lights come on. When the sun goes down, your lights go off, which is great for breeding behavior if you're into breeding or just if you want it to be super naturalistic. Uh, so you can actually have it so that when it's dark for you, it's dark for them and vice versa, right? Or you could have it 12 hours or you could have it, you know, when you come on or when you come into the room, you can basically do whatever you want uh, so that it's completely automated or do it manually as well with just your voice or a click on your app. So gone are the days where you have to go into the reptile room and click, 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 click. Uh, it's over. You literally, you, you know, I, I've got, you know, half my room on one of these and half on the other. Uh, so it's easy. And if you're looking to buy them, they come in a pack of four. I think they're like 40 bucks, 40 bucks, something like that for four of them. So they're super cheap uh, in the description below. I'll put a link. Oh, and just as a alternative, you can always go with a dollar store timer. These things work just great. I, I used to use these before I uh, got obsessed with smart home stuff, but these are just as good. Well, not just as good, but they work. Uh, if you just want to make it automated, uh, they do kind of make a noise, which is kind of annoying, but dumb plug. Must have, must buy. You should get someone this if they have reptiles. Number four, scale. Now, this is especially good if someone is really keeping small reptiles and trying to grow them up. Uh, make sure that they're growing at the right pace. How do I turn this thing off? Or if you want to do something as simple as weighing a perlite to water ratio, that's great for that. Uh, I use this scale right here. Like this is literally, I think it was 20 bucks at Walmart. Uh, it, it's super cheap, but it works really, really well. And what I do is I just use the old kitchen scale, right? Like back in the day, I used to compete in bodybuilding contests. So I had to weigh my food and then now I don't. So I have a use for the scale. So just take your old scale, use it for your reptiles and buy yourself a nice new one so that it's super clean. Um, or you can always just buy one super cheap for someone who owns a bunch of reptiles and, and wants to weigh them or, you know, weigh the eggs even or whatever. There's a bunch of uses for it. I use my scale uh, every week at least, especially now where I'm trying to make sure that my female hog nose is up and ready to start breeding again, which we're going to do a video about in a couple of weeks. Um, and then just the babies as well. I've got some baby hog nose and some baby leopard geckos, and I'm trying to make sure they're growing at the appropriate pace. Um, and then if you want to weigh food items as well, I mean, just buy someone a scale. Cheap. It's good. Scale. Item number three. And we're going to go uh, what you shouldn't buy first. Uh, item number three is going to be a gift card. And here's why. You should never buy someone a reptile. At all. I mean, under one circumstance. For example, it's not a reptile, it's an amphibian, but my girlfriend, last year for her birthday, I bought her two axolotls. And I did this because for the f previous month and a half, six weeks, we were cycling an axolotl tank. She knew that she was gonna get them. She was gonna go out and buy them. She was gonna go buy them at the expo that we bought them at. But instead of her buying them, I just paid for them. She got to pick them. That is the appropriate way to buy someone a reptile is if they're going to buy it and you say, you know what? 
you're gonna get it anyway i'm just gonna foot the bill don't surprise someone don't wrap it up like you see a puppy in a hallmark commercial don't do that with puppies either by the way but giving someone a reptile they're not expecting it is just for so many reasons awful and you should not do that instead buy a gift card right that's a good way to do it you can do what i did with my girlfriend and her axolotls that works but if someone says you know i really want a bearded dragon don't go out and buy them a bearded dragon especially if it's going to be a surprise surprise animals no bueno so buy a gift card pretend i've got a gift card in my hand right here and uh you know to the reptile shop or wherever i wouldn't suggest like a pet store but you know if you've got a reptile shop chances are they'll do a gift card you could even go in there and say hey bobby whatever the guy's name is behind the counter uh do you have gift cards how much would it cost for this my kid wants this my boyfriend wants this my girlfriend wants this whatever um that's the way to do it so a gift card and also even if it's not to buy another animal if someone has a big reptile collection or just a few reptiles and they constantly need to be buying crickets and mealworms and, and you know whatever else the other stuff on this list that's a perfect way to do it as well it just kind of makes it a little bit cheaper to take care of the reptile or reptiles for the next few days weeks months however generous you plan on being item number two apparel so for example if you want a hoodie like this or a t-shirt like this you can go to this link up here and you can buy one from me because you like this YouTube channel or if you like a different YouTube channel you can do that or if there's a breeder that you like or your reptile shop or whatever discovery channel whatever it is sometimes if you're really into the hobby no matter what it is if you're into guitars maybe you wear you know your favorite guitarist shirt or a Gibson shirt or if you're into skateboards maybe you'll wear I don't know anything a Tony Hawk shirt I don't know or uh, whatever whatever the apparel is and if it's for someone who is younger you're buying for someone who is younger and they just like reptiles you could just buy a really cool shirt with a reptile on it like i don't know this one so that's my shameless plug to go buy my stuff uh, that's number number two's apparel and number one this is something that i think no matter what you could always buy more of because they just go missing temp guns and hooks okay and here's why this video i was supposed to start recording 35 minutes ago but I couldn't find this freaking heat gun. It just goes missing. Like, the thing is, I've got reptiles all over my house. So this may be a little bit different than whoever you are or whoever you're buying for. Uh, but I have, you know, a crested gecko in the room over there. And there's one literally right here by my head. And I've got an axolotl right there and one upstairs. And I used to have crested geckos upstairs. And then I got a room to my left on this other side of the wall here that's full of reptiles. So I use this thing all over the freaking place, which means I lose it constantly. And if I had another one, it would be great because then I'd have one for in here and then I'd have one for in the reptile room and maybe I need a third one for upstairs. But either way, these things just go missing for whatever reason. Plus I use it for other stuff, you know, food, for example, or, you know, just for fun to see how cold the snow is because I live in the freaking Arctic. And these things are great even if like maybe you don't have one at all, right? You just point, click, release, beep, boom. There you know, you know exactly what the temperature is of whatever it is that I just measured. So that this is perfect for especially hot spots, for example. I don't know, your buddy has a bearded dragon and you don't know what to buy him. And these things, I bought a Canadian tire. They're usually a hundred bucks, but I've never seen them not on sale for 20 bucks. Or you can buy them on Amazon. And it's a great way just to check. Uh, basking spot needs to be 95. Bam, whoop, is it 95? That's how you know. And I guess since we're talking about temperature reading devices, like one of those really cool indoor hydrometer and thermometer, like a high quality one that's digital and shows the 24 hour highs and lows. That's another great example. I think those vary between 12 and 20 bucks on Amazon. Everything I'm gonna put in the description below, by the way, if you're looking, um, because you know, it's two days before Christmas and now's a good time to start shopping, which is what I did today. And hooks, um, this is just a, stainless steel hook with a rubber kind of grippy end on it right and the reason that I, I use this is because stainless steel it's non-porous this is what they use to slice you open and operate on you if they do operations on people so good enough for handling animals and uh the rubber is also very easy to sterilize as well as is the steel by the way which is why we use that uh and it, it kind of has a grip on it right so a lot of the time the snakes if you're trying to like lift up the head or whatever it's like one of the ones that you know wants to bite you whatever uh if there's rats in the room and you got to move them anyway and you don't want to get bit this can kind of grip onto them but it's not going to hurt them as well and the reason that it's on the list is because man this thing just goes missing all the freaking time but i use it 
for everything. For example, I come in here and I use it to like adjust the focus on this camera. Um, if I have a, a snake in here that I think is kind of sketchy, but I want to do a video, I always have it just in case it starts to get wild on me. Or if you just need to move something or just, you know, if you've got an aggressive feeder and you just kind of want to like poke the bear a little bit, bear snake, you want to poke the snake a little bit just to make sure it knows that you're not food, you know, that's it. Cue the angry comments below that there's no such thing as a feeding mode for a snake. All right, gotcha. There you go. That is my suggestion for the top five things that you need or need to buy for a reptile enthusiast. That is it. I did not get sponsored by any of these. I do make a little bit of money from these, so that'd be cool if you bought one of those. But otherwise, it's just products that I truly believe in. And I know it was number five, but get a smart plug. Those things are freaking awesome. Just the best. And that's it. If you like this video or you like videos like this, hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Normally, this is the part where I tell you I'll see you on Thursday, but it is the 23rd, I think, of December today. So I want to say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Merry Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah, and, you know, all that stuff. So hope Santa's good to you. And as my Christmas gift to you on Thursday, which is Boxing Day here in Canada, if you don't know what that is, imagine a really nice version of Black Friday where no one runs each other over. That's on Thursday, and uh, we're still going to do a video, so I'll see you then. They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them, I run through the money, depression be calling Left all my blessings, I feel like I'm falling The birdie is back, tell me I'm garbage I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted The phone and affection, I summon and double Cause they got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them